This is a course overview for AP Environmental Science. I'm Jason Miller. Uh, this is the this will be the end of my sixth year here. Uh, I also teach honors chemistry and I help out in the music department. And my name is Aaron Miller. This is my 10th year here at Brebuff and I also teach the AP research course. So for environmental science, um, the, the definition of this course and everything that we do is looking at how humans impact the planet. And uh, we put a graphic up here so you can see that this is a very interdisciplinary course. Uh, it is a science course because we look at the science behind and the numbers and the data behind the human impacts on the planet, but we also look at the humanities side of it as well. And we look at the um, some of the economics involved and ethics and um, policy and politics. And so this is a class that is extremely interdisciplinary. It's not just about the science of it. And through it all, we try to continue to bring back this thread of Catholic and Jesuit values of care for our common home. And so it's a, it's a course that is for uh, students that have all interests, not just science-based students. And as, as far as what you should expect um, on, a, on a weekly basis, we think a, a approximately about an hour of homework a week. It might be less, it might be more. We don't consider ourselves a homework intensive course. That isn't our philosophy, it's not our goal. Um, but you should expect uh, some of that one hour a week to be studying for tests or quizzes. Um, we do um, assign independent reading or independent notes. Um, at times, uh, after a lab, there might be lab questions. And uh, we also do a lot of um, watching of current event clips or reading articles and then writing responses to those or reflections. So um, not, not homework intensive. Um, at most, I'd say about an hour a week. So with all that being said, this is definitely a course that you're going to get out of it what you put into the course. Um, so with keeping that in mind, um, to be successful and get the most out of this course, you need to be willing to participate and engage in classroom discussions. Um, we're going to be going outside quite a bit. You've got to be willing to go out and, and get dirty uh, while we're collecting some data out there and such. Um, you also need to be willing to reflect uh, and try to put yourself in other people's um, uh, shoes, I guess we should say there. Um, but on, uh, above that, we also have to remind you that this is a year-long course. This is an AP course, so you have to keep yourself really well organized. Um, you have to be willing to, uh, to keep notes throughout the entire year and keep them in the units that we go through so that by the time of, we get to the end of the year, uh, you, you have a whole year's worth of material to be studying for for that AP uh, test at the end of the year. Um, you also have to be willing to um, uh, do some outside of class reading, uh, some outside of class uh, uh, video watching and such. Um, in terms of, of what makes this course difficult in some manners, um, uh, maybe not the homework portion of this, uh, but there are several things throughout this year that uh, or throughout the year um, that are that on the surface seem very disconnected, uh, but actually run through that that same theme that uh, that Miss Miller was talking about before. So you have to be willing to connect several different things together throughout the year and remembering what we talked about in August when we get to April and trying to be able to connect those two. So not any one topic makes this con or this course difficult, but it's the combination of several different topics throughout the year and being able to connect those together and then also being able to apply those to real world situations. Um, that, that's, that's kind of where, where this course becomes a little bit more difficult than what we might expect. Um, that being said, this is an AP course. Uh, so we are going to try to get you prepared for the AP exam that's at the end of the year. Um, so for us, uh, our AP exam comes in two parts. We have an 80 multiple choice question section uh, that takes 90 minutes and is worth 60% of the overall grade like you see here. And then we also have three free response questions. Um, now, just to let you know, we try to prepare you through, for that throughout the year. 
by um, modeling those uh, multiple choice questions um, and also kind of teaching you how to write those free response questions throughout the year. So to really be successful on this, you've got to be willing to stay organized um, and keep those notes from the entire year and be able to put all of that together, like I said, right? Um, if you're someone whose goal is really gonna be a four or five on the AP exam, also be prepared that you're probably gonna have some outside of class um, reviewing and video watching and such that may go above and beyond uh, what we do in class. Um, but all of that being said, uh, this is an amazing course in terms of the content that you're going to be able to pull out of this and the connections that you're going to make uh, with the world around you.